Again, this is a warning that I cuss, I cusses, I do all of that. And if you don't like it, you might as well leave now. Okay. We here again. <clears throat> we here again. Um, hold on. Baby, that burglar. I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it, but I knew I wasn't going to like it. I didn't. Mm -mm. Oh, and if you watched the previous video, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I love ice. I needed that moment with me and my ice. Mm. That Starbucks strong as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. They trying to take a nigga out with that shit. God damn. I know it got two espresso shots in it, but... Ugh. Boy, I know you wasn't backing, backing the fuck up, boy. I'm backing the fuck up. We both backing up at the same goddamn time. Y'all see how fast my head turned? I damn near broke my neck doing that shit. But, anyway, new video, same day, same moment, same car. Yeah, all that. But I was thinking, I was reflecting on the last video that I just did. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. And I was like, damn, how long you can expand on that? Like, you can you can expand. It's a word in there. It's a word in there. And the word is, you got to get rid of self-guilt. I don't know who that's for. <laughs> I, I don't know who it's for. It's, it's for somebody other than me, because it's definitely for me. Um, but it's for somebody. I don't know. I was led to say it. You got to get rid of self-guilt and feeling bad or angry at yourself for something that you may have done. And I say that because I had it for the longest. I had it. That monkey going to get on my nerves. I had it for the longest. Like, for the longest, I literally blamed myself for being in the relationship that I was in. Uh, because to be single for seven years, I was single for seven years before I met Rodney. And if you go back and look at when Motivation With Me, when my channel originally started, you will see that I was single during that time. Um, I had been single for seven years. I had a brief relationship throwed up in there, but I just, I don't count that. I don't, mm. <laughs> like, it, mm, it was there, but it wasn't. Uh, Lee, what you doing? Oh, she trying to make a U-turn. I'm about to say, what the hell? And if y'all hear something, that's my little necklace thing that's on me. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I was single for seven years before I met Rodney. Celibate for five. And if you go back to my old videos and talk and I all I kept talking about was the strength of a woman, being a leader, doing this, doing that, like all the things I was doing because during that time I was at my strongest because I knew men was a weakness for me. I knew it. I said it. I knew it. That's why I became celibate in the first goddamn place. I ended up being single that long. I don't even fucking know. I, I don't know. I don't date like that. I don't really just go out pursuing niggas. So I guess that's how I stay single as long as I did. And even with talking to dudes, it's like you're celibate. You ain't gonna get but so far. Very few and far in between you find somebody like Rodney who is going to accept that. Uh, but yeah. And it didn't bother me. I ain't hear that I was single. Shit. <laughs> like, I mean, I was getting shit done. Y'all had me fucked up. I was getting shit done. And that's where the, the self guilt came in because I allowed. Rodney was my first relationship as an adult. My first re real relationship as an adult was him because like I said I had a little small short little situation but that wasn't for real because I didn't I didn't love that man and then before him was Dominique in 2013 I was an undergrad I'm not an adult you're not an adult in college 
You're not adulting in college. I don't know how many times I got to tell y'all, you, yes, you, you college kid that's watching this, you're not adult. You're not an adult in college, period. <laughs> I don't care. Fight me if you want to, you're not. Um, so he was the first relationship I had as an adult. And I didn't realize that till like damn near three fourths through the relationship. I was like, oh shit. This my first, like, a nigga, you finna be 30, bro. This your first relationship as an adult. <laughs> like, as a grown-up, grown-up. And so, I found myself sometimes during the relationship, but mainly afterwards, because there were a lot of breaks in between. Hell, I think we said that in one of our videos. The Oh, yeah, the one with the questions. I did say we took a break, which we did. Um, I was like, girl... You stupid as hell. Like, I was really mad at myself that I allowed myself to deal with such toxic shit. And I was like, what the fuck? So you mean to tell me you hypocrite ass, and excuse my language, I'm telling y'all how I was talking to myself. This is real shit, and it's a, it's a lesson in here. So volume alert, because y'all know I might get loud. I don't know. I was literally sitting there like, you stupid motherfucking bitch. You mean to tell me you out here got the nerve to say all this to other people, you fucking hypocrite. And you sitting up here dealing with this bullshit, the nerve of you. Like, how are you going to tell young women to not deal with this and not deal with that and be this and be that and respect themselves and blah, blah, blah. And you out here dealing with this shit. You the one out here crying and shit and doing all this extra bullshit you ain't supposed to be fucking doing at 29. Like, I was literally going in on myself. I think I was more mad at me than I was at him. Because it's one of them things where it's like, how, do, how did I let this happen? Like, how did we get here? I kept asking myself that. I'm like, I kept asking God that question. Because I'm like, it's a reason all this happened, but how did we get here, though? Like, this ain't me. I'm not the type of person that's just gonna accept some shit like this. Are you gonna go, or... Baby, you taking too long. I ain't got time to be fucking with you. Chill. Girl, I got the swing big birth up here. Um... I gotta finish the conversation since I'm sitting in the car made me forget what I was saying. I always, I'm gonna do that anyway. Um, but it was like one of them things, like, I was for real legit mad at myself. Like, I was pissed. <laughs> I was pissed. Like, I I just got over that self guilt. Like, why would you do this to yourself? Like, do you know who you are? Like, I was literally having them conversations with myself because Excuse me, when you call yourself a motivator and you do everything that I do, you hold yourself to a high-ass standard because there are people listening to you. Like, it's people really out here listening to you. And like mo like I always say, the advice that I give y'all, I'm talking to myself at the same time. Every time. The way to get me back up from a funk, a depression, or anything is to motivate. It's so ass backwards. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand it. Like... I don't need nobody to motivate me. I need to motivate people. That's what's going to make me get up and actually, like, get to the shit. Um, hold on, because this lady creeped me the fuck out. Okay, so she worked for the post office, and she clearly lost Denny motherfucker. Like, for real, for real. Like, big loss. She lost. I kind of want to help. Like, I kind of, I kind of really want to help, but, I ain't gonna do that. Um, cause I'm gonna lose my train of thought for real. She'll find it. She'll find it. I have faith that she'll find it. Um, so, it's like, I have to motivate other people to get myself up. Anytime I'm feeling down and depressed and it's like, it's like, I gotta get back to being me. I got to get back to being me. That's the only way I'm going to heal from this shit. That's the only way I'm going to be able to get up. I literally be talking to myself. Like, girl, if you don't get your motherfucking ass up, quit playing with me. Quit, quit playing with me. Get up. What are you doing? I be talking to myself. 
Like, that is the best way. Like, girl, God did not come to play with you. Like, what is you doing? Or, like, me and him be having a conversation, and he be like, didn't I tell you? I got a mission for you, and you sitting around like, like I ain't give you no purpose. Like, what are you... <laughs> like, what are you waiting on? Get up. Get up. Yes, you went through... I put you through this. I put you through this experience. You gonna be all right. You done been through worse than this, so come on. I had to do it to you. That was the only way you was gonna learn. That was the only way you was gonna be able to, to give advice on the experience and teach from the lesson. I had to do it to you. I'm sorry but I'm not like that's that's really how I be picturing in my head that God be talking to me because it's I am one of them people that everything happened for a reason I, a lot of people not like that I have to believe that and in my life it's been true everything has always happened for a reason it's always been a lesson from something like I don't regret nothing like at all you think I will regret my sexual abuse I, do I like it hell no do it hurt? Yes. But it's that same situation that gave me what I have now. And everything, I, I take a lesson from it. With this situation, I don't know what the lesson is. I don't. <laughs> like, I, I ain't figured it out yet. Um, God hasn't revealed it to me yet, but I feel like he will. And But I had to get rid of that self-guilt. I had to get rid of that. Why? Like, why did you let this happen? First of all, you ain't in control of everything, Miranda. And I'm talking to you, too. You you not in control of everything. So you can't sit there and say, why did you let this happen to yourself as if you're in control of your whole life? You're not in control. You, you have some control. But it's some things you can't stop. It's some things that God lets it happen on purpose and you got to let it happen. You can look, it's, it's easy to look back and be like, why did I do that? Why did, why did I let this happen and then this happen as a result of this? You didn't let nothing happen. God let it happen. <laughs> like he made it happen. And whatever it is, he did it so you can learn from it. So you have to, it's really selfish. Like self-guilt is really selfish. And I call it self-guilt because you're, you feel guilty for your, for something that you did to yourself or your self period. You can call it self-hatred, low self-esteem, whatever you want to call it. But I call it self-guilt. Um, especially cause it's internal. It's internal. Like I literally kept, y'all should have heard me cussing myself out every day. I was like, bitch. You got some motherfucking nerve. It was hard to even do YouTube videos and shit knowing that shit was going on. Like, you got some motherfucking nerve. You gonna get on here and tell these people this shit knowing goddamn well. <laughs> I be cracking myself up. Knowing goddamn well you out here dealing with this bullshit. Like, that's exactly what was happening. I was mad as hell at myself. I wasn't mad at nobody else but me. And it started to show in my actions. I started doing angry shit. Like, I started doing old Miranda shit. I started breaking shit, started throwing shit. Just a, a bunch of shit was happening. And it's because I was mad at myself. Like, I literally, because in my mind, I'm like, why you can't just let this shit go like why you can't just get out of this and move on like why why are we here but at the same time and you could be asking yourself that about some situation that's going on like why why is this happening why are we here why can't i just move on it's happening because it was meant to happen it's happening because it's supposed to happen stop asking why go through the situation and then when you come out of it, then you're going to understand why. You're not going to understand why when you in the situation. You got to come out of it. And even when you come out of it, sometimes you still don't understand why. You just going to have to not take an answer to something. And even if you don't, don't let the not having the answer stop you from moving forward. Like, let go of that, ooh. Baby, I live in the ghetto. Do you hear me? <laughs> That's some ghetto shit. Oh, Lord, old man. I'm about to get this one close on. 
I just want to move. Like, I, I, anyway, let that shit go. <laughs> get that up off your chest now. Get that stress off your chest. Get, get all that off. You, you can't, you can't hold on to that. You fucked up. <laughs> like you fucked up you did i fucked up you fucked up we fuck up we're human that's what we supposed to do okay you fucked up now get up and and figure it out and move on fuck ups gonna happen in life and ain't nothing you can do about that again you cannot control everything like people have got to stop with this belief that they control their lives every part of their lives you don't control every part of your life you only control a certain portion of it you control things like how you react to situations like like when people say they have no self-control that means they have no control over like impulsivity like i can't like say for instance and i used to be the same way so i didn't used to have self-control when it came to like my anger right so any little small thing i would just snap like i'm a i'm, I'm still impulsive to this day but I used to be really impulsive. Like, I didn't have any control over me. Like, the smallest shit would happen, I'd be ready to fight. I'd be throwing shit, kicking shit, breaking shit, punching shit. Like, that was me. I ain't have no control over myself. But now that I'm older, I have a lot of self-control now. Because I'm able to talk myself out of doing something stupid. Like, I just be like, mm-mm. No. <laughs> That's why I be like growth. Like y'all don't understand where I came from. Can I get a witness? Somebody who know me, please let these people know. I came a long way because now I literally will stop myself and be like, "All right. Let's 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 chill. Let's calm down. Let's analyze the situation. If you beat her ass, you could possibly end up in jail again. If you go to jail again, then you're going to lose all this this is what you got going for yourself." And you know, TTM gonna be lost without you. But, you know, I mean, you got Christian, but still, like, that ain't a reason to just go do something stupid. Like, just calm down. It ain't even that major. Like, I literally have to talk to myself like that. But there was a time when that shit didn't exist. <laughs> like, it was a time when I had no self-control. And didn't feel bad about it <laughs> at all. Like, I just fuck shit up and be like, all right. Oh, well. I've always had that attitude. I've always had that fuck it, I don't care attitude. Now I just know where to place it. I didn't know where to place it back then. But the moral of the story, the point of the video is you have got to let go of that feeling of self-hatred, being upset with yourself, being mad at yourself, being sad, feeling bad for yourself. You got to let that go. You got to let that go. I had to come to the understanding, baby, even if I am mad at myself, even if you did something wrong, it ain't shit I can do about it. Like, it ain't what I'm going to do. Hmm? I had to ask myself that question all the time. Like, that's how I move forward in life. I be like, all right, so it happened. It happened. Um, What can I do about it now if it already happened? Like, can I go back in time? Is it a time machine? Can I rewind life? Can I go back and do something different? Like, no. No. <laughs> you can't. So why the fuck is you worried about it? And I say that to you. Can you go back to yesterday? Can you, can you go back to last week, last month, last year? I'm pretty sure if we could have, yeah, we'd get rid of whatever, COVID. Like, we would have, that shit never happened. But you can't go back to yesterday. So if you can't go back to yesterday, then why are you worried about it today? Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow not here yet. So you got to worry about today. Come on, girl, pass the collection plate. <laughs> girl, pass the collection plate. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow not here yet. You got to worry about today. Whatever happened yesterday, it's, it's done. Whatever happened then, it, it, it ain't nothing you can do about it. Only thing you can focus on is today and what you're going to do going forward. Other than that, 
It ain't nothing you can do. So you might as well go ahead and stop feeling bad for yourself. Go ahead and stop being mad at yourself and ask it why this and why that and all this other stuff. It it don't matter or what happened. You'll figure it'll come to you one day. But don't focus on that. Don't keep asking. You're going to drive yourself crazy doing that. Don't do that. I had to tell myself that because I was really going in on myself. Like, going in. Y'all, I was cussing myself and be fuck out. <laughs> like, girl, what the fuck? Oh, you make me sick. Like, it was really happening. Like, I was really mad at myself. I was mad at myself, mad at the situation, mad at him. Like, it was just so much anger. And I'm like, no, what do you, no. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not going to be mad. You done come too far for this shit. Mm -mm. No, no, that ain't what we're going to do. So we're going to stop being mad at myself. Uh, We're going to stop being mad at the situation because it ain't nothing you can do about it. I'm going to stop being mad at him because I'm definitely not mad at him. He's not mad at me. I'm not mad at him. We're very cordial people. Uh, And, and we move on from that. Like we, get, we grow from, from it. We learn from it and move on but you gotta get to that point where you just be like it ain't nothing I can do about it but move on that's the point that that point right there that's the hard point to get to but you gotta get there like that that's it that's the finish line you gotta get to that point where you like fuck it I can't <laughs> I can't do nothing about it so what I'm mad at myself for girl get up fix yourself pull it together and push forward that's a whole dance and it's a girl get up get yourself together okay and push forward <laughs> all right y'all bullshit somebody gonna be really doing that shit that's gonna be a whole tiktok <laughs> it's gonna be a whole tiktok and i came up with that shit on December 19th at 3.34 p.m. <laughs> Shit. It's going to be a whole thing. Like, even if you got to do it to yourself in the mirror, like, girl, get up, pull it together, and push forward. That's what we doing all 2022, baby. It's happening. So, I just had to drop that gym. Uh, I got to go in the house so I can get y'all a reaction video done. Let's see. One, two, three. I got four more days. Yeah, I probably do. I, do. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out when we get there. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when it comes. But I just have to get that to y'all real quick. Uh, like I said, I don't know who needed to hear it, but somebody did. And I needed to get it out anyway. So I hope that helped. Um, I will see y'all in the next video. I will be having a live event very soon. Very, very soon. So if you're in Houston, Hi, hello, come see me. Um, if you're not, it's okay. There's a virtual option. More details to come. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I post a video. Okay? All right. So until the next one. Bye.